Hey everyone, Michael Short here. Come on, let's go outdoors. What is the future of mule deer management in Alberta? Well, as hunters, uh, we're going to have our say. Real pleasure to welcome Todd Zimmerling of the Alberta Conservation Association. Uh, Todd, I guess first of all, let's talk a little bit about what this opportunity is for hunters to, uh, I guess, offer some opinions when it comes to the management of mule deer here in Alberta. Yeah, thanks, Michael. Uh, yeah, so basically the uh, government of Alberta has formed a mule deer management committee advisory group and so that's made up of a number of groups, uh, the Alberta Bow Hunters, the Alberta Fish and Game Association, Alberta Beef Producers, uh, Alberta Outfitters, uh, ACA. I hope I'm not missing any groups. If I, if I am, I apologize to those groups, but a, a number of different uh, stakeholder groups. And basically we've sat down to, to look at developing a new management plan. The current plan is fairly old and it's time to sort of revamp it and take a look at what needs to change or if anything needs to change when it comes to management. And so as part of that, ACA has offered to lead a survey of uh, mule deer hunters, ant antlered mule deer hunters. So I want to be clear, the survey is just relating to antlered mule deer at this point in time. And so if you have been drawn in the last uh, two to three years, you should have received some type of notification from Alberta Realm asking you to actually fill out a survey. And uh, in the first, oh, I guess it was 24 hours, we had 7,000 people fill out the survey already. So lots of interest. So if you haven't done it yet, please go uh, click that link again and fill it out. If you had not been drawn in the last uh, two or three years and you still want to have some input, we do have a uh, separate survey up on our website, the Alberta Conservation Association website. If you go to our, our work tab and go to communications, you'll see antler mule deer survey. So we want to fill that out, give us your, your thoughts. And uh, like you say, it, it's covering everything from uh, how do people feel about the current wait times, how do people feel about the current numbers, um, the age class structure that you're seeing out there, um, basically overall satisfaction with, with your mule deer hunting experience. You talk about the, uh, the committee sitting around the table, obviously competing interests there, Todd, in terms of or at least I'm making the assumption there could be competing interests. How are you finding sort of the individual agendas um, when it comes to discussing this? Well, I think there may be competing interests depending on what the, the issue is. Usually the competing interest comes under the allocation side of things, who's getting what proportion of what's available. At this point, what the committee is doing is, is at a higher level, trying to look at what, what do we want out of management? What do we want out of our mule deer population? Those kinds of things. And, and that's where we're trying to get the input from, from the stakeholders, the hunters themselves. I would say for the most part, the committee's uh, operating very well together. Um, the, the various groups see this as, as being important and something everybody wants to see uh, a resolution. We want to see a new management plan developed. So, you know, if there are issues, we're sort of setting those aside to deal with later and right now concentrating on let's get the basics of a management plan put in place here so we can start working towards the details down the road. How intertwined is, is a management plan when we're still also, it seems to me every time we talk about mule deer, uh, chronic wasting disease gets into that conversation. Um, are the two mutually exclusive or do you kind of have to look at where we're going with CWD and what impact it's having on numbers? Well, I think that's still something that the, the committee is going to have to take a closer look at. Um, at this point, you know, it, it, CWD is, is being considered just another mortality factor uh, as, you know, winter, winter severity might be or predation and those kinds of things. So all those factors play into a role as to what does our mule deer population look like, the, the numbers, the age structure, those kinds of things. So it certainly has to be considered. Uh, and as I say, we're, we're not at the point of dealing with the, the details. We're more at the point of, you know, how do people feel about where we're at right now? Is there a certain direction we're getting out of hunters as to we need to do more of this or more of that or less of something? And, uh, and I think we'll take that information out of the survey and that'll help the committee sort of direct more where we're going to go with the plan. Can you give us a little bit of, of history, I guess, Todd, in terms of mule deer and, and why they are, I guess, number one, a coveted species here in Alberta, and in fact, bringing people in from across North America, if not overseas, to, to have an opportunity to hunt them, and, and just why they are in, um, I guess, being so heavily um, regulated uh, as they are currently in, in, in our province? 
Well, I'm not old enough to give you that much of a history, Michael, but, uh, you know, I think anybody who, who hunts, or even if you're not just being out there, they're an, they're an iconic Western species. Like uh, mule deer and, and the prairies are really, those two things go together, I think, even though, you know, as we, anybody in Alberta knows, they're not just found in the prairies, but, but that's certainly, they're, they're just an iconic species. They've just, they grow such uh, uh, massive antlers on the, the mature bucks that, you know, you, you can picture seeing them in the sunset and just the big antlers, you know, off in the distance across the prairie. And that's just something everybody dreams about and thinks about all the time. So I think there's, there's a, uh, I guess, a deep uh, emotional connection to mule deer, uh, even if you're not a hunter uh, in this province. But certainly they're, they're coveted because Alberta can certainly grow some very big uh, mule deer. Um, you know, we've got lots of animals that are they're in the record books. We know that uh, people uh, for the miniature special license auction that went off this year, we know people put a lot of money into getting that tag because some very large animals can grow here in Alberta. And so that's that's part of what the survey is about is how much of uh, is that what's important to Alberta hunters versus how much uh, being able to hunt every year is and and are there different areas of the province where that's a bigger or lesser importance as the how many mature deer we have out there on the landscape. So um, I think that's for everyone out there. There's a slightly different connection to mule deer, but I think there every hunter has a connection. There's no doubt about it. Sounds like you're going to have a, a difficult time <laughs> sifting through all these opinions and trying to come up with a, something that strikes a balance for everyone. You're either going to have everyone mad at you or, or everyone pretty slim that you'll have everyone happy with you. <laughs> yeah, I think at the committee level we've decided if we have everyone equally mad at us, we've probably done our job, but uh, you, you're right. It's, it's not an easy thing. If it, were, it was an easy thing, you know, government would have put together a new management plan years ago, but it's it's taken decades because it's not a simple thing and there are a lot of different factors to be considered. And yeah, thousands of hunters out there that have different opinions on it and what's important to them. Um, and like I say, it'll change depending on where you are in the province. We also have landowners out there, of the course, that are concerned on, on different levels, which is something that we're looking at uh, from the committee point of view. It, it's not just a, do we have mature animals out there, but how many animals are out there? If, if the deer are eating a, a landowner's crop, uh, he doesn't care if they're big, small, old, young, what they are, they're eating his crop. That's, that's an issue. So those are also things that we have to take a look at. We've got issues around, for instance, uh, landowner tags um, that, you know, that people can can get if you're a landowner and uh, you are unsuccessful in draw so how does that play into the whole uh, dynamic of managing this species so it is uh, it is complex thing yeah, it's, it's certainly not something that any of us are taking lightly and realize there's a, a lot of different issues that have to be looked at yeah you mentioned that the survey is out now um, for someone watching this wants to get involved um, how do they uh, find the survey and is there a deadline for for all this work in terms of receiving the, the surveys uh, to uh, to come in to you folks? So the first thing to do is check to see whether or not you got an, e an email from Alberta Realm that you ignored. Uh, because if, like I say, if you've been drawn in the last three years, you should have received a survey a request from Alberta Realm. So if you got that, just click on that link. It should take you. If you've lost it, it should be coming. We'll have another notice coming out. I think it's uh, October 13th. The final date for the survey is the 15th. Now, if you haven't been drawn in the last few years and you still want to have your input, then uh, you can go to our website and go under our communications tab and that will be a big highlight there that says uh, Antler Mule Deer Survey. And you click there and you can fill it out. Um, there's, I think it's 12 questions, 13 questions to fill out. It takes six or seven minutes. And uh, yeah, your, your input's uh, valuable uh, and it'll be used. And it's something, you know, I hear a lot of... Um, meetings I go to, I hear stakeholders complaining that uh, no one listens to what we're telling them. This is your chance to have direct input into, you know, what the mule deer management will look like into the future here. And is there a, a, an end date in sight for you folks to, to come back to the province with recommendations? Well, we're hoping, we're shooting for this coming spring. But uh, like you said, like we've just pointed out, there's a lot of complex issues to be dealt with, but certainly that's what we're shooting for. That we'll have a, at least a draft that will come out um, basically for a wider public uh, look, you know, we'll get it out to the stakeholders. Here's what we've, we've taken what we heard, uh, talked to a bunch of different people. Here's what we, we think we heard. 
what does everybody think about this management plan? But that, in the end, that'll be up to the, the government to decide when it gets released and where we're going. But we're working, we've got government representatives, of course, on the committee as well. So we're all working together trying to get this thing completed. Todd, thanks very much for your time today. All right, thank you.